They're calling it a toxic environment. African American staff and students at a Pilsen High School coming forward saying administrators didn't do enough to stop racial discrimination. CBS 2 investigator Megan Hickey is digging into the complaints at Benito Juarez Community Academy. Ooh, it was so toxic when I left, I barely could walk, especially for anybody that's not white. Some strong words from retired teacher Rose Moore describing a culture of racism at her predominantly Hispanic West Side School. She painfully looked back at the time one of her students called her the N word in class, and she says the issue was swept under the rug by the school's principal, who's been running the school since 2008. Uh, Miss Moore, she didn't mean nothing by it, Miss Moore. She didn't mean, you know, that, they just say that. Moore said she repeatedly reported racist or discriminatory behavior to administrators, but she felt like it was mostly tolerated. And they kept uh, harassing me and they kept picking at me. The CBS2 investigators have learned that Moore's experience is not unique. We've heard from several African American teachers, current and former, members of the staff, and even students who say that not enough was done to promote tolerance and inclusion. Former clerk Alonda Smith Naris's complaint and at least two others is being in investigated by the district's Equal Opportunity Compliance Office. She alleges that even though she had the most seniority in the department and had never been written up, she was treated differently. I'm the only African American clerk at the school. We learned that two other Benito Juarez employees went as far as filing discrimination complaints in federal court. Many say they're speaking up now in the hopes of a culture change. You act like this toward the kids. That shouldn't be accepted in any, any place. We reached out to the school's principal and to CPS to respond on behalf of the school, but so far, no response. Live in the control room, Megan Hickey, CBS 2 Investigators.